Hi everybody, this is Southwest Production YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to mix hi-hats, see what we could do to make them sound a little bit better. Here we got regular hi-hat, I looped it right there. First of all, what I usually do, I assign it to insert. So we're gonna... I already loaded plugins that I wanna show you what I would do. So first of all, I usually clean a little bit with EQ, Fab Filter. Pro Q3. Now we're gonna listen and clean a little bit of noise that we might not even hear, but it will be there for sure, just in case we're gonna remove everything like in low frequency range, but also we're gonna play and listen by the ear and see how it's gonna turn out. As you can see, there are a lot of information over here in the lower frequency range and mid range as well, which we're not even gonna even notice if we remove it. But in the mix, you will have a lot of low frequency sounds here and mid range as well. You don't need it. All you need is just this top end of a hi hat. So we're gonna remove it, clean a little bit, and also maybe even clean a little bit like that, round it up. Yeah, something like that. Then next thing which you probably could do to add movement to your hi-hats is to uh, use a penman from Sound Toys. This thing basically move around your hi-hat from left to right according to this to the to the wave that you're gonna input here. And I'm gonna show you how it actually works. Let me turn it on. So as you can see, as soon as we turn it on. Uh, the hi-hat start moving from left to the right and you can change it going over here to LFO and now it's just gonna go left and right, right, left, right. So what you wanna do probably like don't go drastically like sideways too much with this most important thing here. So you're just gonna play with width and make it accordingly to your sound the way you wanna sound. So let's say we wanna like and smoothing as well. We're gonna do like super soft, so it's like slowly moving from left to right. And maybe just a little bit like that. So it doesn't stay in the center all the time. It could be a portion of your mix where you do a certain portion of the mix where it goes left to right, and then you can automate it in a certain piece of your mix. You can start wobbling around from left to right. And also you can do the rays here can do slower or faster it's up to you you can uh, set the LFO type you can do like rhythmic sap or random or ping pong it's just gonna bounce left and right and uh, so we're just gonna do rhythmic step or just random like that just gonna do random movements or LFO kind of like this and we're gonna do something like that so I'm also gonna show you how to automate it if you just want this effect to be in certain part of your mix so all you have to do is just right click on over here on the effects uh, on this knob right click and create automation clip and it will create automation clip in the arrangement over here and you can like drag it down and any painting you want pretty much so over here is gonna do nothing and then slowly gonna start painting so let's hear it it will make it sound better so this is one of the first tricks that i would do i also like this uh, fruity stereo shaper it's a pretty good tool i love it to to add a little bit of a stereo separation in this case we can go to the presets and let's say and you can use this preset over here which gonna make it sound like in both headphones or in both speakers at the same time so it's, it's kind of interesting effect because you, you can hear it right now so it's like everywhere like it's it's like super stereo now so we can turn it on and off and you'll hear the difference. So now Bandman is giving the stereo movement and uh, Shaper actually gives you the full stereo effect. So it's kind of cool. But as well, you can 
as I said, you could create automation clip of this thing and automate it like that. So stereo and then goes to uh, to mono and then over here fan man kicks in and it gives different stereo picture so that's pretty cool and other things what you could do with hi-hats is add a little bit of reverb so let's hear what the reverb will do to hi-hats we're gonna lower our uh, mix knob and turn it on so this was zero effect and now we're gonna slowly add and maybe a little bit pre-delay the pre-delay what the pre-delay does it allows the initial heat initial transients go through without affecting the overall sound of the hi-hat so first couple of milliseconds it gives the ability to hi-hat spike and then it mix with the reverb all together so it kind of this does not destroy the sound because if you go to zero it applies the the effect right away and it could get too muddy that's why pretty way is super awesome tool so let's hear it super slow pre delay you can hear that hi hat hits and then delay starts so we just need a bit little less so just about maybe like 15 or 20 or 25 and also cut a little bit of highs and lows this is like an option I would not add it in this case right now, but it's just like what you could do. All right, and the next trick, what I wanted to show you is actually inside of the settings, you double click on hi-hat and then you click on the, over here on pre-computed effects and you will see over here stereo delay. So whenever you move it up, you can see like this this thing basically doubles and it will give pretty interesting effect so let's hear it so you can hear it's like stereo, super stereo right away and it gives pretty interesting effect if you do like trap music or something it can actually give super cool sound And then you can add a little bit of uh, reverb and it sounds super great. And then at the end, I would probably add another another equalizer just to make sure nothing bleeds through. Also, you could uh, duplicate this hi-hat, make it unique and uh, lower the pitch like all the way down and then basically paint it over and see how it's gonna sound now and maybe lower the volume a little bit down oh yeah and at the beginning I also wanted to tell you just want to lower the volume a little bit down because usually by default they super loud so let's hear it now yeah you can see and now we can play with the volume Maybe we could pan it a little bit to the left. And we can play with pitch and make it sound the way you want it. Or even we could uh, we could play with pre-computed effects on our second hi-hat and go opposite way like that and also we could go back to the normal view and swap our stereo or reverse polarity there is like you could reverse it if you want you could normalize it just to make it a little bit different so the waveform is not going to be exactly the same and now we could hear it again And I'm gonna turn it off now. And turn it on and a little bit more volume. So 
So as you can see, you can do so much things with just a hi-hat to your taste, unlimited possibilities in order to make the sound that you desire. If you find it useful, let me know, comment down below what type of a video would you like me to do in the future and I will definitely do it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.